thought you were going to ask me about Greg Hallett. Oh, it's on here. Oh, the next question's about Greg. <laughs> you want to, yeah, you must. Can you see my screen? It says, it says Charlie was lying about Greg Hallett. I would like to reveal that he's a hundred percent con man. Blah blah blah. But um, so you knew that Greg was not the proper lineage, but you. Do, 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 do. <laughs> I'm like, who's this? <laughs> like, what's right, happening? <laughs> this is Dave Mahoney. Do, 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 do. So, surprise, uh, Dave Mahoney has come on to this video with Charlie Ward. Charlie's invited him on uh, to try and clear up some things, as there's been many calls for a Q&A with Greg, which uh, seems to not be happening. So let's see what David has to say. You're the one that caused all the storm. Yes, it's all my fault, Charlie. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, what's going on? You, you two con men are spreading lies. What's the, what the heck's going on? Uh, well, it just kind of exploded. I mean, Charlie and myself are so busy, we, we never actually have a chance to talk properly. And um, that whole story blew up when I was actually on a flight to Tenerife. I didn't know anything about it. It cleared up all the, um, all the rumors and mistruths, so absolutely no problem. Did it? It's um, it takes a lot more than that to take the wind out of our sails. So let's uh, lay it on the line then. People think that you guys were just lying the whole time about Gregory Howard. So what's the, what's the real story? You can... Well, the real there isn't really a real story that's different. I'm... Really? <laughs> there isn't a different story than what we were saying as far as I'm concerned. But that story about Greg, he um. He mentioned it in previous videos, and I knew about it, but I just didn't go back to it because I was like, okay, whatever, you know. It's like, it's like when you meet a woman or you meet a man, and they say, well, I dated this guy, this girl, and this happened. You're like, well, it doesn't really matter. It's in the past. Yeah, I, I didn't focus on it. And then I kind of just forgot about it and just got on with it. Now, this is super strange. Um, David talks about Greg telling him about someone else was meaning to be king, the same as being on a date and the woman saying, well, I dated someone else and this family. How is that relatable? How is it comparable? Um, someone else was meant to be king, a, an occult society um, chose me instead of them because I saw some signs. Um, and he just says, you know, it's just one of those things, just forgettable, you know, it's kind of in the past, you just kind of move on. Yeah, it's super weird uh, that he also says in another video on the same day to uh, a mutual friend of mine, um, he says that something else is like dating as well. Let's have a look at that. Why does he call people back? The, the simple answer is a lot of people are not really all there. You know, it takes you a while to realize we've all experienced this in our lives. You'll meet somebody. Dating would be a great example. You know, you're, um, you'd be, uh, you'd meet someone, everything is good, and then something will happen, you know? I've had a couple of girlfriends that don't have a good reaction to alcohol. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. What do you guys think? I think it's super weird. I really do wonder how the comparison of dating someone and then telling you they dated someone else and someone saying, yeah, someone else is meant to be king rather than me, but uh, a secret society and a cult society chose me over them because of the signs I was receiving. You know, I wonder what that sort of situation looks like. I really have had such a lovely time tonight. I've really enjoyed it too. But I do need to say, I've dated a lot of different people, different families. It's okay, don't worry about it. I know, but also I wanna come clean. I wasn't originally meant to be king. Someone else was chosen. Someone else was the bloodline. But, you know, I saw some signs and an occult society, you know, a Masonic society, they, they, they chose me. They chose me to be king. Look, you don't even need to worry about it. It's all in the past. We don't even have to mention it unless someone brings it up. And even then, we can just refer to your old videos. Look, I hold my hand. You know, David, you're so lovely. And one last thing. Don't think about it.
So my last message would be stop thinking about things. And then it came out, and I was like, well, actually, he talked about that in a couple of videos way back, but not everybody watches the videos. Yeah, he did talk about it in some of Jim, uh, his videos with Jim Fetzer. Uh, but this was before you guys met him, and he decided to change the story, or you guys maybe decided altogether, that let's, let's leave that part out. Um, it's a bit suspect, so let's not talk about it in the, what, now four, five parts of a professional documentary made about the story. Hmm. And then people jumped on it and started going bananas and the usual stuff. And I was like, oh, God, here we go. And, um, so we just, you know, look, he's actually talked about it from before. And this is what happened. He had a, a, a business agreement. They had a little falling out. And then, um, you know, he went on one way because he was, he was selected because the signs were there. So that's where it went. And I think we've covered it anyway, Kelly. Where are you in California? I'm in the Bay Area. I'm about an hour of San Francisco. North or south? Is is that it? Three minutes of talking about it, and then you sort of say, oh, yeah, well, I think we've covered it. Anyway, where do you live? Let's change the subject. It's important that you keep the information out there for people so you don't get any rumours or lies. <laughs> well, just before you go, I know you've probably got to go, but people are still asking about the Gregory Hallett thing, and is it, is it possible that he still could be king, or is that just done? Well, well done, Kelly. That's it. Keep him on track. Keep him on the story. We want to know. People want to know. People want to know about Gregory Hallett. He, Greg's been away for two weeks. He's, he's actually been doing some secretive work. And, you know, my relationship with Greg is all, we're, we're good pals and we're friends. We, we do a lot of filming and talking, but he's still got a lot of work to do that I'm not, if you think about like on a security clearance level, but he doesn't tell me because, and I don't push him, but he's doing a lot of things behind the scenes, like setting things up. So, Every week, there's more and more information about the royal family. Like yesterday, there was a news article coming out that the Queen has told her children that they have to get their own properties now, that they're not going to be allowed to stay in any of the royal properties. Okay, I'm going to stop showing you uh, the clip about him talking about uh, the royal families and things that are coming out now because it has nothing to do with Greg Hallett. Um, you know, the, I am not, and I never have said that some dodgy stuff is not going on with the royal family. Uh, and I've never said that, you know, things don't need to be revealed about that. However, uh, and if Greg Hallett has helped to bring to light to some people those things, um, then, then it is one sort of good aspect of this whole deception. However, he is not responsible for outing them as much as he pushes that. It's the same as he's not responsible for many things he pushes, including uh, claiming that, you know, he is part of the Q movement, um, right-hand man, or even Trump is his right-hand man. Um, you know, he jumps on the back of a lot of popular movements and then pretends that he's heavily involved. And this bothers me. You know, there's no need to pretend there is a fake king to try and push out this news. The truth movement had been doing it before Hallett became popular. You know, this stuff would have come to light anyway. And people like uh, me and you, you know, the truth movement would have brought it out, okay? And it's questionable whether the royals are, are still, you know, in power. You know, lots of people think that they're dead. You know, I don't, I'm not gonna say either way, but what I'm saying is, is that you didn't need to push a fake king to get this information out. And what's important is that if we're going forward and it's all about the truth and we're trying to push out the truth, don't create another deception to try and be a vehicle for this truth. Because this truth already had a vehicle. It already had me, you, and the, the thousands, hundreds of thousands of people coming forward and revealing this stuff. And people like us that are actually seeking the truth uh, and, you know, revealing stuff. And don't think you're going to be able to pull wool over everyone's eyes because you haven't mine. And, you know, I've come forward and I've decided to make a channel to make sure that we're not being deceived further. And one last thing, we don't need another monarchy. You know, we don't need um, how do we know? One of the points I've been trying to uh, make by looking into his background so extensively and to point out some of these things is to make sure that we are not, you know, trying to root to push someone else on the throne that you don't know anything about. And that people are listening to everything that he says and just go, well, that, that's true because Greg said it. No, 
let's look at it and lots of people have said and i've said this before in my other videos you know um it, well they'll do a better job than the other monarchy can't be so bad can it so let's put him on the throne that's no good enough reason we shouldn't have anyone on the throne let's abolish the monarchy you know why would you want to put another person in power that you don't really know and the point i've been trying to make about all my research and my videos is you don't really know this guy he's got the gift of the gab yeah he's he's convincing you he's using research you know uh, a lot of it it's good research you know some of it is is um, showing that um, things are not as they seem. However, you can find that research elsewhere. He did. That's what he is, an avid researcher, and he's very good at charming people. You know, he's got a great charisma. Um, guys, just don't be fooled. And I, you guys are listening to me and taking in this information and thinking, hmm, seems a bit suspect. Well, we've actually had some pretty good intel that they say that she's not even with us anymore. Now, how she passed, we don't know. And I'm not saying this is true. I'm just saying we have very good intel that it looks like this is true because no one's seen it for months and months and months. Right. This really worries me um, when people are saying, you know, we have very good intel. People just seem to hang on that line, you know. I am not claiming to have very good intel. You know, what I do, I'll go out and I'll find and I'll research and I network and I, I dig deep and I find research material um i asked the people that were there questions i asked the people that knew him i asked you know go to family to friends you know i i dig deep and i actually physically find that research you know people hanging off of well i've got insider information or you know well we've received very good intel you guys don't know these guys from adam really they are going on camera and telling you that they know people this information is inside insider information. It's good intel. Please use discernment. Please use your brain, your logic, your sense. I'm not saying that everyone that says they have insider information or good intel uh, are lying um, or even are not being duped themselves. You know, someone I could easily just create a fake account, you know, and get hold of Charlie Ward or David Mahoney and say, look, you know, I've got connections in Buckingham Palace and uh, I'm telling you now the Queen is dead I've seen a dead body um, you know I'm, I, I've got to keep close I've got to keep you know tight-lipped about this because um, you know I'm in a very precarious situation and I'm in danger just by telling you and it could be like oh okay well you know I appreciate you for bringing this information forward I will share it with my followers just be careful guys interesting story about Every August, she goes to Balmoral, which is a property in Scotland, a, a large estate there. And I had two staff members send me messages saying, she's not here, Mahoney, because I work in the stables. She loves her horses, and the horse has not been touched. He said, if you get Greg to send me a flag of his, I'll put it on top of Balmoral to prove that she's not here. Oh, wow. What a great story. Um, did he do it? And we didn't, just because he... <laughs> ran out of time or something else so yeah oh of course he 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 ran out of time or something he's still got a long way to go nobody in official um statement wise is going to help him. you're not going to get anything from the government saying ladies and gentlemen we'd like to bring your attention to something no i don't know what the future is but he's still there and I, I really do feel that because of the documents he lodged, this is what is really shaking and pulling the rug out from all of the royal family members. They're all wobbling. Oh, all the things that's going on with the royal family was because of Greg's documents, of course. Uh, the ones that were um, needed the response by the 20th of July, was it? Around that time. And uh, if they didn't get them, then Greg basically assumes the throne. Uh, he had a lot of people believing that when that happened, people were saying, you know, just wait, just wait till this day. <laughs> it came and it went. Nothing happened. You know what happened afterwards? They said, "Oh yes, they've been submitted. Nothing's happened because, um, yeah, the, the you know the royal mail they they screwed up. They sent it to the wrong address. What the wrong Kremlin? Um, excuse me. Come on. And then you know where are we now? We're months down the line. Nothing's happened. And he's saying these documents have shaken up the royal family. I won't show the footage, but he goes on to say, yeah, Harry and Meghan, um, they, they left the country. Yeah, nothing to do with Greg. That was well before all of this. Uh, then he goes on to say about Prince Andrew and the whole sort of pedo gate scandal. Yeah, 
again, well before Greg Hallett became popular, all his documents, nothing to do with him. Uh, guys, come on. Literally, they are... This is what Greg has always done, you know. He's done research, um, and then he's kind of claimed it as his own, and it's because of him, where clearly it is not. Still going to be a waiting game, Kelly, but, yeah, Greg's still on it. It's just I haven't, I haven't talked to him properly, you know, messages and a quick one. But I haven't talked to him probably for a couple of weeks because he hasn't been on his computer for a couple of weeks. And where he's been has been pretty remote. I know that because his signal can comes in and out. I wonder where he is. I wonder why you can't get hold of him. I wonder why he can't talk to us. Maybe the signal's bad, as you say. Maybe he's back in that cave. There's some really good intel coming in at the moment about these three hard drives that were sent as well. Did you hear about that, Charlie? Charlie. Charlie. Charlie, Charlie, wake up. I haven't heard that, no. So basically, I did a recent interview with uh, Charlie Ward, and on it, I made, I made him watch back one of his videos with Greg where he displayed absolute vile behaviour. Um, and Charlie was kind of shocked and said that he felt really uncomfortable watching it back. Uh, I then mentioned about the fact that um, after I put out that video of Charlie revealing that they weren't telling the whole story uh, about Greg. After that video that I showed of Charlie uh, revealing that he, uh, that they weren't telling the whole story about Greg, obviously David made a few responses. And on those responses, he said, look, I will get Greg on a Zoom call to clear this all up, which never happened, you know. So I'm gonna do a Zoom call with Greg and I'll get him to clear it up. David made two videos, um, kind of trying to clear things up himself. Greg should have done this, but David, you know, he'd come on camera as the front man. He was probably wishing Greg would just come on and bail it all out. But, you know, Greg, nowhere to be seen. He, throughout all of this controversy, almost a month now, 11th of September was the last time we saw him. Almost a month now has disappeared, right? David claims that he's still in contact with him and he's just far too busy to um, even address all of this, which doesn't make any sense for me. I think that we've asked such tough questions. We've, we've asked for the real evidence behind a lot of stuff. And Greg has kind of gone, Rah, I've been rumbled. And he's now hiding. And David now left, left there to pick up the, the, the pieces, which I feel sorry for him for. Um, however, I only feel so sorry. He's the guy still flat out promoting this. Mahoney has then said in a uh, Facebook fan group of Greg, look, we're going to get the Zoom call going. Fantastic. Okay. And he says to them, any questions, let me know. And me and Greg will talk about them. But then he puts out this video that's from with Jim Fetzer from well before they met um, that told the story. But this is before they stopped talking about the story and made a whole professional documentary about him and failed to reveal it. And then did so much work about it and still failed to mention it. So this is not a get out of jail free card, I'm afraid. This makes no sense still. Um, and you've not addressed it properly. By putting up an old video of him talking about it, I could put up an old video of him talking about Francisco Manuel being the king and him being his, you know, Lord Chancellor. Uh, and uh, Greg absolutely showing no kind of inference that he is meant to be on the throne. I can show videos of that, you know, and he changed his story. And then he changed it again to he's the king. And then, you know, when David and crew met him, they changed it again uh, or literally omitted anything that was dodgy, which is this whole story that he wasn't meant to be king. And some Masonic occult society chose him because of signs that he was seeing, right, to be the king, which, again, you know, you shouldn't back behind. I mean, if I told you that I'd seen signs, you know... Oh, God, you know, I saw the other day on a burnt piece of toast the picture of Jesus, and that meant I was going to be the king. And then I wrote up some dodgy documents and put them on my own website with, you know, can I be king? Is that enough? Are you going to, you know, is his fans going to start saying, well, M will be better than uh, the, the current crop of royals, so why not? Is that going to happen? Um, it's not good enough. It's not good enough. We need Greg on camera. Uh, but I do ap applaud David Mahoney's efforts to try and answer questions. 
on camera. And not only did he do this at Charlie Ward's request, but um, a mutual friend of mine got him to clear up some questions to make a few short videos, which uh, I've, clear, uh, I've included clips of in this video. Uh, here's some more of that. Um, if you have any questions, pass them up the line and I'll get them answered. But I'm very open. There's no secrets with me. I'm not hidden agenda. It's pretty late for me. I've got another early start tomorrow. So all the best. If you have any more questions, send them up the line to, to the, the top and we'll get them filtered down. And in between um, Zoom calls and things like that, I'll, I'll get them answered for you. I'd rather have you on the straight and narrow than having anything bouncing around inside of your heads. Um, but you need answering, you know. If it's a good, intelligent question, I absolutely... Uh, no problem answering any of those, so. Greg needs to come on camera, address his fans, even if it is for two minutes, and says, guys, I'm still here. The rumours about me being disappeared or, you know, being a clone or anything, all these other kind of rumours, yeah, they're not true, I am here. Uh, even if he doesn't answer our hard questions, at least just showing his face would go a long way. Um, but leaving David Mahoney to clear up your mess, you know, that's not fair on David. And David, you know... There comes a point where you have to say, look, I was making a television show and yes, I'll be going along a bit, you know, okay, I still believe him, those are my opinions, but uh, Greg's at this time not prepared to make a statement and um, I'm going to leave it at that, maybe, I don't know. But um, David, I do appreciate that. And also I appreciate that um, Charlie Ward has um, kind of said, look, we're going to get a round table going with myself, Justice, Charlie Ward and David Mahoney. That would be brilliant, you know. We showed uh, Charlie Ward utmost respect when we did the video with him. We asked him some tough questions. Um, and, you know, I would, despite all that um, has happened personally with me and with Justice, with getting some questionable responses, messages and whatnot from David, I would put all that aside. Let's be adults. Let's put it all aside. Let's talk and have a debate and show the people that we're all being open and honest. You know, let's show the people that we can put all of that aside. Uh, if we're going to ascend to being 5D, what was it? 15 B, 15 D beings you're talking about. OK, so let's let's uh, talk uh, about the truth. OK, if you want to come on, I would give you the utmost respect for literally coming on camera with me and Justice to ask you some questions and for you to give us the honest answers. I appreciate what you're doing so far. I think it's important, David, if you're watching this, um, that you put aside all the humour that we've done. You know, I think you're in a uh, in a, uh, a tough position um, having to stick up for this without Greg's help when it's not your story, it's the story that you're showing. Um, you know, I have questions about how much you're investigating the story, but you're giving him air time and now you're sticking up for him. That's not fair on you. Um, you know, like I said, we'll show you the same respect as we did with Charlie Ward. If we do have this round table that Charlie Ward has said that he's going to try and set up and his booker, Lee, has said to us, don't worry, we're going to set that up. And, you know, I know that, um, that David has kind of reached out and said that he watched my video with Charlie, thought it was very respectful. Uh, before it's productive and um, it's trying to open dialogue with me so let's see where that goes and uh, yeah hopefully we can all get together we can straighten this all out um, so let's see what happens guys uh, guys thank you for watching uh, please follow M Secret of Truth take care